G'day ladies and gentle tubers, this is the fastest I could do a step by step how to on replacing a deck belt. First of all, we need to lower the deck to its lowest setting. That will allow us to release the pins that hold the deck in place. This is pretty much the same way for most ride on lawnmowers or ride on tractors or lawn tractors, what do you want to call them? Down here we have a little toggle pin. You pull him out and twist him up and that one's released. Here on the other side, you have one identical. Pull it out, twist it up. You can see everything's already all moving around. And then here at the front, we have a long L-shaped bolt uh, that attaches the front of the law, the front of the deck to the lawnmower. That is very simply removed by shuffling the deck forward, getting him on the right angle, and lifting him up. Next thing we want to do is lift those brackets that hold everything in place back up and out of the way by moving it into the highest position. After that, very simply, under here, again, you can see that there is the tensioner that allows you to engage and disengage the blades. We want that out of the way so we can pull the deck out completely. Obviously, if your belts have simply slipped off, you can probably get away with putting your belts back on without removing that because you can still pull the deck out one side or the other quite a bit without pulling that off. Right, once you've once you've removed this little fella of his pin, put the washer and the pin back in the shaft so that it doesn't all fall apart and you lose pieces. And again, that's the pin that comes off this fella. Stick the pin back in so you don't lose it. Next bit, very straightforward. Pull it out until you can't pull it out any further because that means it's stuck on your pulley over there. And then as you can see, there's a guide here that holds everything in place. On the other side, it dowels into the side of the chassis. And on this side, on the underside here, there's, a, I think, a half inch bolt that drives it into the chassis. And then it's just a matter of slipping the belt off the main pulley. Right, a couple things to observe. If you have not got an illustration on your deck like that, then take a photo of your belt position before you remove your old belt. All very straightforward, but sometimes it needs to be said. If you're going to pull this apart and um, flip it upside down to repair something like that bit of broken deck, it's a good idea to label things. Label that one left and that one left. And that way when we go to put it back together again, we don't get the two mixed up. This one here, label it at the front. and again we won't get them mixed up. Also bolts back through pulleys in order with their washers where they go if they've got a washer on the top and the bottom all of that sort of stuff where it goes so that when you get to put it back together again you know what order to put it all in so everything aligns. Also a good opportunity to check make sure bearings are reasonable. We've got ourselves a new belt 
Uh, once again, I'll leave a link uh, in the description below where you can find one of these on Amazon. Um, sometimes they're out of stock, so you might need to find the associated part numbers and find another one on Amazon. Usually one of the suppliers has them in stock and can get to them to you within a couple of days. So if you follow the picture you took before you pulled your deck apart or you follow your diagram, you should be able to get everything through and straight. Grab our leftover piece of pulley and slip it over the drive pulley like so. <laughs> Grab our thing, whatever you want to call it, stick it back in its appropriate holes if you remember which ones. We're all hooked up from there through to there now. I actually lost the pin of that and just made it out of a piece of plain fencing wire. We re-hook up the front tensioner. May require a bit of neck pulling backwards and forwards. That's why it's best to do this bit first because once you've clipped it in the back there's no going back. Get that in position, slide it back in position. Once you have the deck approximately in the right position, come back here and lower your deck position to the bottom. Come back in here. This is now loose and can be moved up and down. And the deck is too far over. So I'll just shimmy it over until I have alignment. But you can see that this pin needs to go in this hole. And then you need to relieve this tension in this spring here allow it to lock into position. Now as you can see this arm is now dropped into position and the pin has gone through the arm and is locked. Now we have to do that on the other side and we're all attached and done. Yeah, other side in position and now we can raise and lower the deck and we'll take it out for a test ride. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe. And thanks for watching Build Grow Play.